So last night I went live and I showed you all the pictures of Comet 3i I was capturing. The sun is shining really bright on Comet 3i. So it's going towards Jupiter and we have almost like a perfect alignment of Sun 3i Earth. It's going to happen on the 22nd, but it's almost there. So now the pictures are looking really awesome. I know last night pictures was different when I was taking it. I kind of know I'm taking something really valuable. I felt that when I was just looking at the pictures that when they are coming in and it became really clear for me in the morning when I started processing them, it was just an awesome experience. I had to go out, take my family somewhere out and I came back. I would have posted the video a little bit early, but I'm going to post a little bit late today, but I believe it is still worth it. We uh, should be able to see what Comet 3A is all about. There isn't much that I wanted to say beyond this. The pictures that I have right now are the best pictures that we have ever taken of Comet 3i, which is really odd because this comet was close to Earth a few days ago, a couple of weeks ago, and we should have been taking pictures there at that time, right? It was bright at that time too, and it was great. But the pictures that we are getting about Comet 3i is different. Let me give you a clue. The tail of Comet 3A is long. When we were looking at 3I before, the tail wasn't long when it was close to Earth. I mean, we were trying to look at, uh, you know, different ways to see how big the tail is, and it always shows like a circular round structure and some jets here and there, but not really like a long tail. Comet 3A has a very long tail right now. I don't know why it is shooting so much that ions towards the sun, but the way it looks to me is like, it's big, it's very active. It's active than before. I don't understand why it is showing up that way. You know, the viewpoint changed. I don't know, I, I don't understand the quality of the data now, why it is different than before. Now it is like crystal clear picture of 3i. It has all the, uh, you know, the, the you can call it um, plasma, you can call it um, supercharged ions, you can, you can call it whatever, but the tail of Comet 3i is now very pronounced, very clear, and it is very active too on top of it. Not only it is showing the core of the 3i, the tail is long. Here is how I would describe it. 3i was closer to us before. The core was much bigger when it was close to Earth. Now the core became smaller, but the tail and the area became like really long. That's how I put it. And it is active, a lot, lot more active. I could not compare it. It looks to me like it is now releasing so much stuff than before. That's how it looks to me like. Or maybe our viewpoint is much better on the 3i. I don't know which one is true. But anyway, so thanks for everyone who joined the live stream last night. I. Uh, I'm glad that I could have, I'm glad that I said hello to a lot of people, which is really good. I really wanted to connect with the subscribers and all the members of the channel. Thanks for joining as members as well. Really appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to show you the data. I'll, tomorrow, tonight is going to be good. Tomorrow, I think it is going to be probably cloudy. So, we might get some more pictures. I need to see how good the 22nd will be. 
but any clear night from now till the 22nd or later we will try right we'll try to take pictures using our uh, telescope and uh, i'll show you the best pictures that i have yeah please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and give me that uh, like and uh, if you wanted to hype this video i don't think there is anything better picture than what we have seen before let's see if we can if i can show you that it's a quite long process to get to this point so i'm going to show you the steps that i had to go through so when i started out it was mostly like last night live looking comet the comet was actually showing tail of the comet you can actually see in every exposure that we were taking we were seeing some kind of a tail of this comet which is not usual because usually it's very small if you go back into my previous pictures that of comet 3i comet 3 usually is like a dot right like a circle and then it goes and usually you will see some tails here and there uh, but not like like a long cometary kind of a tail and now we are seeing that so there is some suspense out there which is causing it so let me run this for you so this is basically how last night we were looking at it i can zoom in as well and you will see pretty much it's passing through the stars innocently it is showing like as if it is any other comet that's how it shows up you could see the uh, tilting of the like tumbling of the core let me zoom in a little bit here but beyond that that's pretty much looking like a comet and things didn't stop from there right so i cleaned up quite a bit of the data right and then removed the noise removed noise and also i sharpened it once and this is now a slightly cleaned up image yeah let me zoom in for you this is cleaned up a little bit here is where i felt there is something here look at the comet and look at the gases that it is releasing like when you are looking with all the noise it just looks like regular comet but the moment you remove the noise and you clearly see what's out there you see the core i'll zoom in again you will see the core and also you will see a big long tail that is going along let me zoom out so that you can actually see the tail see that it is extremely active it looks like something activated the comet after passing from earth which is the closest point for us and now it is on its way to jupiter further away from us and now the comet is showing quite a lot of activity which is very unusual you you pass it passed some long time ago the only difference is either our viewpoint improved or comet got activated or maybe something is happening there because it is <laughs> getting a different i guess view of the sunlight right we we can't really explain what caused this plasma or these ion gases that are getting released so fast now let me change this view for you and i removed quite a bit of noise I removed the stars which is for the first time I didn't want to remove the stars before 
But now I felt removing the stars is better. And I believe, uh, let me try this. I, I'm skipping a couple of steps, the, at least so that we can see the good pictures. All right, let me zoom in. Here is when I realized this is not an ordinary comet. Just look at that. And now, this is picture number one. Look at picture number 40. Sorry, hold on. I'll put it here. So this is picture number 40. Look at the size of the tail. One, right here, and 40, this long. I started noticing this is moving right now. I'll let you enjoy the view. I removed the stars. It looks very different. And there is a point where I have a better version of this after. I don't know if you can see it. Look at the tail. Right? It's kind of like this, like this, like this. Yeah, it twisted. Anyway. And look at the tail after that. Comet was like this round before, and now it is like something else. Looks very different than just a couple of weeks ago. It was showing like, like a long comet, like kind of thing when it was close to the Earth. But not all these gases and not all this stuff going on. Let me show you a different view. There is a much better version of this. Yeah, let me zoom in. So this is what I was saying. This is picture number one. And look at the comet size, interstellar object. Look at this. This is one. This is 40. Let me zoom in. Not this much, hold on. Maybe this. Yeah, there is no easier way to show the whole thing, but this is one and this is 40. And in between, there are several stages for this comet. I'll move this to the side so that you can get to enjoy the true picture of this comet.
I don't know why it is so active. But anyway, so I will try to show you this part. So this is the one, the weirdest of all, is that shape of the tail. I'll go one by one. I think that's safer. This is like so much going on there in this picture. That's one single picture. It's very majestic. So that's all I have for you folks. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, give me the like. Um, if you wanted to hide the video, please do. Thank you for all the members who joined. That's all I have for tonight. Uh, see you all soon. Thank you.